Yeah, I mean, no doubt. I mean, I think that uh, – so a couple of things. One, in terms of uh, Ruben's interview, great interview by uh, by Ruben. Uh, it really, it, Trump was much more natural in that interview than I've heard him in a very long time. Indeed. He was laid back. He got a kick out of things. He found it engaging, and he was more revelatory, sometimes accidentally so. Like I had been – you know, the tea leaves that had been coming out was that – and the message Trump had been sending out was that maybe he would not run in 2024 – but what he uh, gave away to Ruben when he says, oh, you know, it's a little bit early, da, da, and then he catches himself and stops talking and shifts gears, tells me that his Save America thing right now, Trump is planning on running in 2024, that he's changed, he's moved back into that space mentally. That uh, And that's probably not a bad decision on his part in the sense that what he does best is run for office, his campaign, is be the PR guy. Uh, he's not you know, in my, he's not the best organizer. He's not the, he's not the architect. He's not the engineer. He's the marketer. Um, and so probably other people have to help form the architecture. Other people have to uh, form the engineering organizations, uh, the, but, and let Trump just be the, and then feed him the information so that he can market populism effectively. But I highly recommend the Ruben interview on his locals page. It's the uncensored version because he had to censor the version on YouTube for it to stay up. Uh, where Trump talks about what happens in the elections as well on the, on the locals version. So, uh, but yeah, g- great interview, very insightful, very revelatory. And especially that two things, Trump is in very good spirits. He's still the same Trump. So all these stories about rage, anger, depression, as usual, are completely total false. Yes. Yeah. Total, total BS. And the second is that, uh, and you know, all the stories about, uh, you know, he thinks he's going to be back in office <laughs> and all that totally made up. That's not true at all. Uh, but that but Char- he is wait, Charles Cook confirmed it with his yeah. his array of sources that he spoke to array of sources. So it's like one one fi- one unnamed anonymous source confirming another unnamed anom- anonymous yeah, source. Talking to Bill Crystal's cocktail circle. Yeah, cocktail that's party like, right. That's all that was. <laughs> totally fake. You can see that. Total uh, garbage. But I think Trump is serious about 2024. He may change his mind. But like when he said, hey, you know, it's kind of early to do these rallies. And it's like, what do you mean early? And he himself caught himself. And, and all of a sudden he shifts gears. He does this occasionally. I mean, I've watched Trump tons. Uh, he'll occasionally sl- slip up and disclose something that he doesn't want out there. It shows that there's a lot more control behind the scenes than is seen from Trump. Uh, and But he was also just revelatory. I mean, that you know, the way Ruben asked questions sort of brought out Trump as Trump. Um, and the, you know, sort of the, the laughing Trump, the, 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 the funny Trump, the comedic Trump, not just the, because I don't think Trump's at his best when it's the bitter, angry, resentful Me either. Trump. Never did. I totally agree. I don't know why he didn't show people the pre first for people who have followed Donald Trump for a while, you know, that that bitter Trump really isn't who he no. was and it, it just not and isn't who he he really is i yeah. mean you yeah. know when i talked to him at the beginning of the election contest he wasn't bitter angry resentful was just hey he was more curious than anything else uh you know the he is uh, he believes in revenge uh but you know that's just a moral who principle doesn't? for him and who a practical doesn't? principle sorry <laughs> I'm not always a great Christian. That's for sure. You know what? I'm not perfect. There was one. And by the way, I got a slew when we said we were going to do this. I got a slew of people, those people who were like, oh, well, how do you explain your God now? You know, well, who created them? That's how I explain it. You know, I mean, really, look. Oh, well, I mean, you mean on the UFO thing? Yeah, yeah. My yeah, well, I mean, I mean why would God limit himself to Earth? Right. I've never understood that. There, there's nothing in the Bible that says he limited himself to Earth. 